Sweet. Now this is where uh, we have to make some decisions. Basically, what flour we're going to use. Um, Obviously, you would go for bread flour the majority of the time. You might want a combination of different things. We're definitely going to use some organic wholemeal flour here uh, from ship to mill. I've got a big old tub, bulk tub of uh, plain white bread flour. That's going to get chucked in there. I've also got, oh, this is good. It's semolina flour or uh, durum wheat. Um, and that, just a little bit of that in there. Um, really sort of adds a, quite a nice little flavour uh, note to it, but it also makes the crust really thin and crispy for some reason. I don't know the science behind it, I just know that that's what it does. Um, so we're going to definitely chuck some of that in. Uh, oh, what else we got? Seeds and nuts and things. Um, I've got some malted wheat flakes. They're quite good. Uh, that's some wheat germ. Always had a bit of wheat germ. That gets sifted out of all flowers. Um, and then salt as a health food. This is really good for you. Um, it's also what makes flour go off, which is why they sift it out. Um, but this has got so many good different vitamins and minerals in it, and uh, I believe folic, folic acid, um, which is really hard to get into your diet. It should be in the flour. Um, but yes, so always add a bit of that in there as well. Um, and uh, yeah, just a big combination of stuff. And we're just gonna whack it in a bowl. Never have too many bowls. Might have a problem. Um, all used though, I use them all the time, so it's not a problem if you use it. We're gonna try to figure out what flour ratios we're gonna use. I don't know, I don't tend to follow recipes. The baker's percentage, um, and so taking a total amount of flour um, as 100%, and then adding all the other ingredients in accordance with that. Add water anywhere between 65, to you can go as high as 90% hydration if you really want. Uh, if you want to be brave, don't do that. Not yet. Um, uh, but yeah, if you, as long as you're using roughly about 65% uh, water um, to that, you're going to be fine. And yeast and salt is all incorporated for a percentage as well. So what that frees us up to do is getting loads of different flours, chucking them in, and then use that at the base, and then add all the other stuff. Uh, I've got whole wheat flour there and that has lots of these particle or bran particles in it um, that cause uh, the gluten to kind of be shredded when it's trying to form which is not what we want so always a good idea uh, use a coarse sieve um, this is quite a nice purpose built one for bread making but a normal sieve works just as well um, and that'll remove some of that bran so you get um, a, you know a better gluten formation um, uh, from there. So whack that in your bowl. Here's our wholemeal flour. Got a nice spoon. Lovely little spoon here. Um, and we're just going to chuck. Oh, let's just pour it in. Just to get us going. And the reason I'm not being accurate with this is because it's that is the weight with all the bran and um, uh, other bits of husk. Uh, large particles of husk in there potentially um, uh, from the wheat germ, uh, the wheat berries, depending on what you want to call it. So there's really not much point in being accurate because once I've sifted it out, it's going to be lighter because that's how the science works. Some plain bread flour because that seems like a legitimate thing to do. And scoop it all in using trusty spoon. Uh, so I'm aiming for about 500 grams of this, so it ends up being roughly 50-50 between wholemeal flour and plain flour. Semolina flour. I'm gonna add about 300 grams into there, but again, we're not being overly precise with any of this. We're just chucking stuff in and seeing what happens. There we are, that is all the flour. Um, it's reading on my scale as 1,512 grams. And that's it done. Or well, the flour done at least. We've still got to do other bits. Can't eat just the flour. Wouldn't taste very good. No, you wouldn't want that.